to get ourselves ready for the draft. Infamous versus King Gaming. Well, we're going to see these two teams go head to head. It is a best of one elimination match. That mid lane, we'll see whether or not he can get the six minute rune. I think part of the reason why he decided to go to the bottle was so he could play around the power runes, just gank out the side lanes. He doesn't really have a support that could rotate in and get an easy kill from in mid lane. Yeah, Witch Doctor and Rubik both kind of, uh, they don't have great amount of kill power solo, right? Yeah, and Schofield gonna make the rotation down towards the bottom. bottom. Hector's quite low. This could be our first blood. Snowball's coming in. He does manage to pick up Hector, but Hector does get burned down. Kaka secures the first blood before he goes down. Old 11 with the Heavenly Grace is actually gonna turn and fight Stinger back. Whisper is about to pick up level seven, so he's oh, more than chicken. They're gonna go uh, on him here, Cap. Old Chicken is gonna be caught here. The Snowball actually went up to the neutrals. Schofield just trying to get closer to Old Chicken, it seems, after the blur, but Old Chicken just can't get far enough away from Whisper with the ice shards to be able to finish him off. Whisper starts laying some damage out onto Old Eleven, but Yi is gonna pull him back into the combo here. Like everybody's been going for the nature's attendance maxed out. It's so hard to challenge this hero, and Whisper is actually staying oh, in this game the right now, as they're going to be able to catch Dark, who's trying to protect his tower, gets a vision up, but immediately, Infamous, kill him, make sure they get the bounty runes, and now Whisper's going to rotate over. He waits until they've secured the bounty runes first, and it looks like he may have just gotten three for his team, almost killing Kaka as well. The smoke up, the first big maneuver here from Keen Gaming, looking oh, I like for a successful a move to shut down Hector once again. They have done their research. They know exactly how Infamous likes to be able to play, and that is stacking the best game TPs. possible for Hector. And with a rotation like this, they've secured at least one death on him, and no rotation from Infamous. It looks like they're just going to leave Hector out to dry, potentially, as Stinger kind of rotates over, but Hector is going to be caught by another X marks the spot, and he just stops moving. He knows his life is forfeit, but they'll also, all that space that was given to the Enchantress to take that tower, they just even things out. Telekinesis toss back there is going to be able to lasso on Kaka, but not actually pulling him to the TA for fear of a boat coming in. And Chris Luck trying to, oh no, there's a sentry already placed, so he immediately gets stunned up. Whisper's now in trouble. Nature's attendance trying to save him. The snowball back into the team. Oh, it's going to hit the boat. Oh, there, and he also has the melting. He punches up in the air, but they all just get wiped in the river. Dances away into the trees. I don't think Chris Luck really thought he could get the kill there. And, oh dear. He may be caught. The Tusk is coming in, trying to save the day. Ice Shards, okay, that's in the wrong direction. A little odd, but Chris Luck's going to turn and try and fight Yi, but the Coco's Rum as well as the Spirit Vessel. He is going to be able to snowball into the neutrals, but again, Keen Gaming just bringing the extra oh, the heroes here to be able to take the fight, ensuring that they will bring down Infamous every single time they meet these heroes. They know that Hector is too busy farming that as long as they five man, they'll be able to take any fight against Infamous. Now they're going to be able to catch Whisper as well with the Spirit Vessel, preventing a lot of that heal. The early pickup from Yi, just a smart read of this game and how to be able to dismantle Infamous. Right now, you have a Tusk that's hitting neutrals, a Batrider that's hitting neutrals. Hector trying to push out this top lane because he knows that somebody has to. That could not have been a more beautiful read. The sucker punch from Kaka as he'd stolen that one away. He's even going to be able to get Nature's attendance. Surprising that Whisper is still alive even through that spirit vessel. That Yi just said, oh, that's the kill and ran to look for more. Now he has to come back to make sure they finish the job. Whisper finally dies. Which might not entirely be wrong. If you just look at the sheer lack of disables that they have for him. X marks the spot on Schofield, no snowball, and he's going to be caught in disable after disable. The snowball's going to come a bit too late, unless the ice shards can separate the two, but there's just another X marks the spot. Again, they just have to trade deaths for space. <laughs> if your offlaner doesn't come with catch, it usually means that you're not going to take the easiest of fights. So you just sort of have to five man. You don't have that option to just roll with two heroes and get kills easily. So you're going to run into the BKB TA. This might be the worst target for them to run into. TA is going to be able to get off the BKB, jumps into the back line, but there is going to be save from the Omni Knight. Kaka's going to be okay for now until big punch from Schofield to be able to finish him off. Schofield will be sacrificed in turn as the Paralyzing Cat slowing down both oh, Hector here now. and Whisper, but they're going to show up. And you get the stun on Old Eleven. Look at that damage coming out from this Enchantress. Heavenly Grace won't save you, my friend. The Omni Knight falls. And Chris Luck, look at him. more. Next hero, Old Chicken. He needs a target to be able to jump away to, and he's got one in Yi, but a big shot from the Infinite. It does miss. The Tusk snowballing in. Ice shards forward. The Raid Fire Blast nails the PA. Can they overwhelm him? They're what a dive this is. Two, and this is a dive that will be able to win the fight. 
And they're gonna surround this PA right now. Ulted up by the Bat Rider. Nowhere for her to go. Absolutely nowhere. Jumps over to the Kunk up, but they had the Ice Shards well in place to be able to they're block gonna her take out. this tower that too. Four dead, and yeah, tier two is gonna fall just like that. And Infamous has answered the question. All they needed was that one team fight. They may be the ones to come back in style. They're gonna try and defend this here to at least get a team fight out of it, but they're gonna be a little slow to arrive as Kaka does manage to get the telekinesis as a ray fire blast to be able to get the chain stun. They're committing to this fight. They don't really want to jump Hector right away. They're not gonna overly commit into this reincarnation. They finish him up and then start retreating, especially with that heavenly grace on old chicken, allowing him to back away from these slows pretty easily. The X marks the spot, allows him to be able to jump back in, but the toss snowball that actually bought the time and now the last one, old chicken fades away nice and fast from the heavenly grace. But there goes that on the ultimate, it will be able to buy some time with the pure damage coming out for the Enchantress doing so much to Old Chicken he actually has to back away and without the Old Chicken they're lacking on damage and Infinite knows that they're just going to march forward catch whatever heroes they can that's only going to be the Omni Knight for now I'm sure Keen thought they were pretty fortunate to be able to get Infamous instead but as you said the South American powerhouse is proving not to just roll over they will have a fight though Keen nice snowball coming out Schofield gonna be able to save Whisper but can he actually get him out in time to torrent the boat almost enough damage and Yi is able to get the final swing now a stolen lasso coming out from Kaka as he does manage to grab Chris Luck taking away a lot of that BKB timing and Infamous know that with Whisper gone, they can no longer take this fight confidently. They're gonna try and retreat, make sure they don't lose any more heroes. Schofield will manage to slide away with that Blink Dagger. Groshan is up though, and they're pinging in that area. Old Chicken already gonna start this for his team. This Chantress doesn't have buyback yet. And with no Lasso on the board, Infamous might be a little bit more reluctant to take this fight. There's no BKBs. The Hector boat. just gonna run in. About to come back in. Look at that. Chris Luck immediately. They've got the back line. What a snowball on old 11 and Kaka controlling him up. The telekinesis toss back does help get some control, but it's not good enough as Stinger flying over them on the side. We do have, they're trying to chase away this toss as best as possible. He's oh, the melt back, strike. Hector, melt strike after melt strike. Chris Luck being able to bring down Dark again. Now old 11, Schofield trying to get away, still away from that X marks the spot, but look at him now. He's taunting. He's saying, you can't finish me up, boyo. I've got the walrus punch. That's the touch that infamous need to claim Roshan. And they are looking like such a veteran team right now. Yeah. They're pushing in the lanes before they go for some sort of blind push. And that's what Keen did, if you recall. Keen sort of just went for it down mid while their, t uh, their two side lanes were in distress. But infamous is being cautious. All their lanes are in a good position and now they're just going to go for it. Hector starts banging on the tier three. Chris Luck. Not joining him too much, make it a shot or two just to be able to, oh no, he's gonna jump forward immediately, take out Kaka, popping his BKB, looking for his next target, the Heavens Halberd is gonna be able to buy some time for Dark, but not long enough, as he just gets two the shots level right 25 away. Talent. That's a double kill for Chris Luck, with the Melt Strike getting the bashes in, on the neck, finally forced to be able to throw out his ultimate, but now he's being pulled back, and all that pure damage, triple kill for Chris Luck, he looks for his next target, the boat coming in, he's gonna take his time, backing up, he has the Blink Dagger coming back in, Old Chicken does manage to jump in and finish off Schofield, but another Heavens Halberd on to Chris Luck, Stalling up this damage, Old Chicken tries to throw the daggers after him, but this Templar Assassin with the refraction. They're going for Megas right now. Tanky, and they're just going to go for the Megas. They're going to force reaction out of King Gaming. They say, you have to fight right now. Ain't a three versus five, or Megas is ours. And they've already taken the top racks with the skeletons and bottom shortly to follow. They 33 minutes in, in they've taken Lund. Megas. Because of the X. Got a free jump on to the Kunkka, and just like that, they managed to get the Megas, and now Old Eleven, he gets executed quickly on the spot. Yi slowed down, paralyzed the cast bounce between the two of them, though, with the boat on top of it. Chris Luck does take a large share of this damage. He does have the Aegis, though, and he's okay with this, especially thinking kill Old Chicken Impetus after Impetus, coming in from Whisper. Finally able to finish off the PA. She buys back, but Keen Gaming stuck inside their base, and Hector says, that's where I want to go. I want to go all the way into the fountain. I want to find some more kills, but he knows he may just overstep himself a little bit. They do have the snowball. Now they jumped outside of the fountain. Hector's really trying to fight. Quickly taking out the PA. Thanks to Whisper laying out the damage. King Gaming are forced into the fountain once again. And that's GG it. Gaming. Call the GG and infamous. Make it past the best of ones. Unbelievable. South America, you have your champions. They have secured themselves a top 12 berth at this international.
they fulfilled every ex expectations that people had for the South American teams. They went into that last major, they went into that epicenter, and they bottomed out just like South America's done almost every single time when it comes to these DPC events, when it comes to TI, but here, infamous, the Peruvians and the Sol Bolivian in Whisper have proven that they finally are here to be able to take TI by storm. They finish off Keen Gaming in front of their home crowd and have now moved on into the best of threes.